Imagine waking up to the soft, natural light of a sunrise as the walls of your home become transparent. You're not dreaming, you're in the year 3000. The walls of your home aren't just walls, they're smart, adaptive surfaces changing transparency with the break of dawn, syncing with your circadian rhythm, ensuring you wake up refreshed and energized. Your morning coffee? It's already brewing, the aroma fills your hovering abode, thanks to your home's AI. It's not just a machine, it's your personal chef, nutritionist and barista all in one whipping up a breakfast tailored to your nutritional needs. And those superfoods on your plate? They're not just any ordinary food. They're 3D printed, designed to be both delicious and nutrient dense. In the year 3000, breakfast isn't just about sustenance, it's about optimal health and convenience. It's about starting your day right, with technology that understands and caters to you. Welcome to the future, it's a good morning indeed. Morning rituals include more than just a cup of coffee. In the year 3000, kicking off the day is a different ball game. Conversing with distant planets has become as ordinary as texting a friend used to be. Picture this, our earthling friend, sipping on their morning brew, initiates a holographic call. And who's on the other end? A friend from Mars, no less. This fantastic piece of technology allows them to communicate in real time, despite the millions of miles separating them. It's as if they're in the same room, the holographic projection so lifelike, it's easy to forget they're not physically present. They exchange pleasantries, discuss Martian weather and even share a laugh or two. The vastness of space no longer poses a challenge for maintaining relationships. The cosmos has shrunk, and friends and family on different planets are just a call away. Distance no longer defines relationships in the year 3000. Say goodbye to gridlock traffic and tedious commutes. In the year 3000, personal flying pods have revolutionized the way we travel. These marvels of technology, as common as cars once were, glide smoothly through the skies. Imagine this, you step into your pod, speak your destination and off you go. There's no steering wheel, no gas pedal, just you sitting back and enjoying the ride. The pods are equipped with advanced AI that autonomously navigates the airways, ensuring a smooth and safe journey. It's like having your own personal pilot. And forget about traffic lights and stop signs. Traffic congestion, a daily reality in the 21st century, is now a tale from the past. The skies are filled with a ballet of flying pods, each moving in harmony with the others, creating a mesmerizing spectacle of modern technology. Traveling in 3000 is not just about reaching a destination, it's an experience in itself. Workplaces aren't just physical spaces, they're dynamic hubs of innovation. They're places where ideas take flight and the impossible becomes possible. The workplace of the future is a vibrant crossroads of technology and human ingenuity, a meeting point of minds from across the solar system. In this era, virtual reality has become the canvas for collaborative projects. Our Earthling, for instance, is currently working on a project to design an eco-friendly habitat for lunar colonies. With just a virtual reality headset and haptic gloves, she's able to manipulate the design, tweak the materials, and run simulations in real time. This isn't just a solitary endeavor, though. Her colleagues, scattered across different planets, join in, contributing their unique perspectives and expertise. Imagine the creative possibilities when you have engineers from Earth, architects from Mars and ecologists from the Moon, all working together seamlessly. In this futuristic workplace, distance is irrelevant, and collaboration knows no bounds. These virtual workspaces also give rise to new forms of communication. Instead of emails and messages, team members interact through avatars and holograms. Brainstorming sessions take place in virtual conference rooms that can be customized to spark creativity. One day, you might be discussing project timelines in a serene forest. The next day you could be analyzing data on a beach with waves gently lapping in the background. The projects undertaken are as varied as the people involved. Our Earthling's eco-friendly habitat is just one example. The goal is to create a sustainable living environment that can withstand lunar conditions while minimizing the impact on the moon's fragile ecosystem. It's a challenge but one that embodies the spirit of innovation and environmental stewardship that defines the workplace of 3000. Work, in this age, is more than just a means to earn a living. It's an adventure of creativity and collaboration, a journey of discovery that pushes the boundaries of what's possible. Every day brings new challenges, new learnings and new opportunities to make a meaningful impact. Work in the year 3000 is an adventure of creativity and collaboration. It's a world where the extraordinary is the new ordinary, where every day is an opportunity to shape the future. 
And that, dear listeners, is what makes the workplace of the future truly extraordinary. Lunch breaks aren't just about food, they're about immersive experiences. Imagine stepping out of your workspace and into a world teeming with life, a bustling cityscape, or even a serene forest, all within the confines of your lunch hour. Welcome to the virtual reality parks of the year 3000. These parks are the ultimate social hubs where individuals gather to enjoy a meal, converse, and immerse themselves in diverse environments. From the vibrant coral reefs of the Pacific to the tranquil Zen gardens of ancient Japan, or even the lush jungles of prehistoric Earth, the choices are endless. You could even find yourself sitting on a bench in a park that doesn't exist in reality, a park designed by the collective imagination of its visitors. This is the beauty of lunchtime in the year 3000. It's more than just a meal, it's a journey, it's an adventure, it's a story. Lunchtime in 3000 is a feast for all senses. After work, it's time for an adventure or relaxation or maybe a bit of both. Our Earthling, like many others, opts for a unique leisure activity that combines the best of both worlds. Welcome to the Underwater City, a marvel of engineering and a testament to the human spirit of exploration and innovation. Here in this submerged sanctuary our Earthling embarks on an exploration of marine life that's simply breathtaking. The city, a harmonious blend of human ingenuity and nature's beauty, is home to a myriad of sea creatures that have thrived thanks to centuries of dedicated conservation efforts. Imagine gliding through crystal clear waters where schools of vibrantly colored fish dart around corals that glow with an ethereal light. Picture an octopus gracefully dancing through its underwater garden while a majestic whale sings in the distance. This is the reality of leisure time in the year 3000, a reality that is as relaxing as it is exhilarating. The underwater city is not just a hub for marine life but also a thriving human community. Here, earthlings can dine at underwater restaurants, shop at subaquatic malls, and even attend concerts in grand amphitheaters, all while surrounded by the tranquil beauty of the ocean. But it's not all about the adventure. The underwater city also offers places for quiet reflection and relaxation. Imagine unwinding in an underwater garden where you can meditate to the gentle rhythm of the waves, or curling up with a good book in a bubble pod as a curious sea turtle peers in. This extraordinary blend of adventure and relaxation is the hallmark of leisure time in the year 3000. It's a time to unwind, explore, and immerse oneself in the wonders of the world, both human-made and natural. Leisure time in 3000 is a journey into the extraordinary. Education in the year 3000 isn't confined to classrooms or textbooks. Picture this, a world where learning is as dynamic and evolving as the universe itself. Here, Education doesn't stop after a certain age or career milestone. It is lifelong, continuous, and as diverse as the multiverse. In this era, each individual is an active participant in their learning journey, fostering a culture of curiosity and growth that transcends traditional boundaries. Learning can happen anytime, anywhere, and on any subject that sparks interest. The thirst for knowledge is insatiable, and the resources to quench it are infinite. Now imagine a learning environment that's fully interactive, where the line between teacher and student blurs and everyone becomes a co-creator of knowledge. This isn't a fanciful dream but the reality of education in the year 3000. Our Earthling, for instance, is part of a group learning about marine biology. They're not flipping through pages of a textbook or sitting in a lecture hall. Instead, they're virtually immersed in the vibrant underwater world they're studying. Every coral, every fish, every wave is a lesson waiting to be learned. Leading this group is not a human but a holographic expert. This AI-powered entity is a repository of information, capable of answering queries, providing insights, and even engaging in intellectual debates. It's not just about imparting knowledge but nurturing critical thinking, encouraging questions, and fostering a deeper understanding. This holographic expert doesn't just teach marine biology, it adapts to the learner's interests and needs, morphing into an astrophysicist, a historian, a mathematician, or whatever the learning journey requires. The expert is always there, ready to guide and inspire, making every moment a potential learning opportunity. So, in the year 3000, education isn't about cramming facts into heads. It's about igniting minds, nurturing curiosity, and fostering a lifelong love for learning. It's about exploration, discovery, and the joy of understanding our world and beyond. In the year 3000, learning is a lifelong journey of exploration and discovery.